Um, so it looks like you're interested in the illustration program. Yes. Um, that's great. Uh, and are a lot of these things that you did on your own, or is this stuff that uh, was classroom assignments? Or? No, this is all stuff I've done on my own. Oh, okay. Um, talk to me a little bit about what you've done at school. Have you taken many things outside of school? Or? Um, not outside of school. I've been an independent artist, like all throughout high school. Okay. And um, that's pretty much all. That's Sketches and stuff. Mine. <laughs> That's the thing my friend made. Uh huh. Funny how those things kind of just end up getting stuffed in there, right? Yeah. Great. So this is all self-generated. Yes. Wow. Well, it seems like you're uh, you're um, always drawing, which is great. Um, and the uh, also like the the level of uh, of completion, like they're really highly rendered, which um. I generally have not seen in as much in like self-generated work. You know, a lot of times you have kind of like half-finished stuff or whatever. Yeah. Um, so that's definitely a strength here. Um, and also that um, one of the things people, one of the first things that people do once they finish, you know, a character or whatever, is that they, and these are all out of your head pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Um, is that they go and start filling up the page and stuff. And one of the nice things that you have going on here is what I call breathing room. Right. You know, it, it really forces you to pay attention to what's going on in just this little area here. Uh, but it doesn't feel like it needs to be cropped, you know, I mean, well, there's a little bit of cleanup stuff, but that's yeah. color studies, you know. Um, you know, the, there's some space there to, to kind of uh, to breathe, so that's nice. Um, talk to me about a couple of your favorites. And, and well, you my favorites are some of my newer stuff, like this one's newer, okay. and because I I taught myself how to do a different kind of blending and shading with my markers. Yeah, they're very, it's very smooth. Um, it almost seems like watercolor. It's, uh, so this is all, what is this, Prismacolor or what are you using? Yeah, it's Prismacolor and Topic and, um, what was the other one called? I can't even remember. Oh, that's okay. Pantone. Oh, right. Pantone. And then I use pigment liners. And mm -hmm. I like some of my, like this one's one of my favorites, like liner. I like comic books and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, and I have a lot of older stuff. That's great. So, what kind of so you said you're taking you've taken independent art um, in in school. What kind of what does that entail? Like what independent is that? art is just you get to do whatever you want. <laughs> That's great. Um, the only thing is, is you're supposed to t challenge yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's just you get to do whatever you want as long as you're not doing the same thing over and over and over again. Right. So you're trying those new blending things. And yeah. All that stuff. That's great. Um, what I might do, uh, if you're so inter if you're so interested in this uh, kind of thing, is maybe try to take. And you said you're a senior this year, so obviously there's not a lot of time to do something like this. But maybe work from one um, topic and try to come up with a couple of different ideas off of that topic. Right. You know, just like as you get ready to submit or whatever. One of the things that's nice to see in there's a couple things that are nice to see in an illustration portfolio. One of them is, this is really highly rendered, which is great, um, but one of the things you got to think about is how did you get to this point? So you probably have some preparatory drawings and stuff right. like that. Um, what I might do is choose one or two of those that you really like um, and try to um, and try to include those, you know? So that way it says, you know, like, oh, well, you know, I started with, you know, I started with a basic idea that maybe had some other stuff here, and so maybe there's like a loose sketch of all that, and then what you also include is, is this. You know, right. I think that'd be huge. Um, it shows us that your brain's moving. Yeah, I definitely start with like rough sketches, circles, and then that turns into... That's great. I definitely include uh, even just a little bit of that. Um, one of the other things to, uh, to think about is like, um, I don't know, uh, uh, I think it was... It, uh, Edward Monk uh, is um, an illustrator from uh, end of the 1700s, uh, and uh, M U N C H, and he has a lot of uh, like Art Deco drawings and stuff. Right. But he does a lot of uh, figure studies of, of women and stuff. I think he really like. I don't know if you know his work. I haven't heard of it. But uh, what he does is um, like he had something based on the seasons or based on certain flowers. So what he'd have is a character for each one of those seasons, and so like, they're yeah. maybe dressed in a different way, or has different features, or something like that. I, yeah, I'm the projects that So watch. something like that might be interesting, because that shows us a couple of different ideas on the same topic. Right. So that's something to maybe think about. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this looks strong. Um, what, uh, 
so you said like some of the newer, uh, generally your newer stuff is going to be your more favorite stuff. Yeah. Um, the, uh, I think that, I think you're off to a great start, and now what it's going to come down to is just kind of paring it down to about 15 to 20 pieces of stuff that Are you is, you know, um, paring down to stuff that is different and along with stuff that shows that you can work inside of a group. Okay. And that seems like two very different things. But And then like some sketches too. Because um, it seems like you have plenty of work. So, so that's great. Um, what else? Um, I don't know. I guess uh, if you do have any work from observation, that that is a good thing to include. Um, I think as you go around and talk to other yeah, people. The stuff that's in my journal mostly. Great journal, sketchbook. Yeah. Yeah, good. Definitely include some of that stuff. Um, the stuff that you know when you're sitting on the bus and you're you know waiting to get from point A to point B and you're drawing the guy in front, or you're you know I don't know sitting at the lunch table drawing you know your friend's lunch because it's being eaten. Yeah, I have a lot of drawings in my left hand. That's good. Okay, there you go. See, I'm a lefty. I have right-hand drawings. Um, and so what I do is um, is include a couple of those too, because again, that shows us that you work. You know. Right. So that's uh, that's huge. Well, yeah. Looks like you're off to a great start. Oh, oh, thank you. Have you. Any other questions for me? Or? Um, I don't think so. Not really. Yeah. Okay. Well, great. Um, then I guess uh, I guess I'll let you uh, I'll move on and talk to some other schools then. <laughs> This one was my favorite. Well, that's great. Um, and yeah, I really hope you come out and take a look. Uh, we have uh, tours Monday through Friday. I think every second Saturday, I think all fall, we're doing, um, or actually pretty much all year, we're doing tours too. So just give me a call or shoot me an email. All right, sounds good. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you. Yeah, so long. Well.